Okay, hello YouTubers. So, I get some criticism in emails and comments on how I process um, IC chips. My method of pyrolyzing in my foundry and then grinding up in the blender and uh, panning. There's, there's my pans over there. Panning out the, uh, the remains and uh, to concentrate the gold and then dissolving that material, dissolving away the base metals first in uh, nitric acid and then uh, using aqua regia to dissolve the gold. And people tell me, oh, I'm, I'm losing gold here, I'm losing gold there. Um, they tell me my panning method is, is inefficient. They tell me that uh, uh, my heating this stuff up so hot in the foundry is causing the gold to alloy with the base metals and I'm losing it that way. Um, they, it's just, it goes on and on. Well, okay, just as a, just as a test, I set aside all of the stuff that was left over, that I did not process for the gold. Okay, I got, I had a, I had a, about a pound and a half of IC chips, I pyrolyzed them, I ground them up, I separated out the, I, you know, I ran them through the blender, I, I panned it to separate out the, the base metals, I sieved it, all, all of the stuff I normally do. And, you know, I processed, I processed the pan material, got a fair amount of gold out of it, and then I, I just, for shits and giggles, just to see if my critics were right or not, I processed all the other stuff. It took an outrageous amount of acid, it took a tremendous amount of time, and I am left with maybe, I don't know, a couple hundredths of an ounce of gr gr a couple hundredths of a gram of gold maybe down in there so yeah I missed some gold okay I'll grant you that I missed some gold but given you know the, the tremendous quantity of chemicals and the, and the huge amount of time it took to get this gold it wasn't worth it I can afford to miss that much gold it's just you know trying to get that gold it's just it's a money pit so you know, I got I got the easy gold and I got it fairly easy. And and this this stuff here, that was difficult to get and it just wasn't worth it. So anyway, just thought I'd uh, throw that out there. I think I think my method actually works pretty well. Yeah, okay. I'm only getting 99.9% .9 of the gold. I'll admit that. But the other 0.1% just isn't worth going after. It was just, you know, it took days. It took days of dissolving all that base metal debris, you know, in acid. It took a lot of acid. It took a lot of time. And, you know, this stuff is super fine, too. I'm going to have to capture it on some sort of fine filter and redissolve it with some other stuff. So I've got a decent quantity of it to uh, re-precipitate. So, anyway, like I said... Just thought I'd uh, throw that out there. Just, you know, I wanted to test and see if I was actually losing a lot of gold, but I don't think I am. So, now that's not to say that the base metals on all ICs don't have gold in them. I processed a bunch of chips that did have some gold in the base metals. Uh, these memory controller chips here, I've got a bunch more of them to process. And these actually have a whole lot of gold in them. Not only do they have a lot of gold bond wires in them, some of the of the base metal framework inside is gold plated too. I saw when I was sieving this stuff out, sieving the base metals out after you know running them through my blender and pulverizing these things, that um, some of the base metal looked like it was uh, gold plated. It was very shiny and gold colored. So yeah, I spent a lot of time and, and a lot of acid and. Uh, processed all the base metal that came out of these and I got half again as much gold as I got from the bond wire so it was worth it that was worth it so but um, processing all the base metals from all the ICs that's not worth it just you know take a take a close look at, at your at your leftover base metal debris use a hand lens or a loop or something and look at it to wash it so it's clean and look at it and see if you can see visible gold in there if so process it if not just discard it because likely that's all you're gonna get you know a couple of cents worth of gold after you know using 
five to eight dollars worth of chemicals in a couple days of time. All right. Thanks for watching.